Let's go back to 1964 Paris this time around. A bit of French New Wave, the Nouvelle Vague, Jean-Luc Godard. You gotta do Bon de Pas, and that's what we're gonna do. Bon de Pas is a 1964 French New Wave movie. It's, it's a bit hard to work out whether it's a comedy or a drama or a pseudo documentary with an omniscient narrator. It's a bit of all of those things. Directed and written by Jean-Luc Godard and starring his then wife Anna Karina as Odile, a naive young girl living on the outskirts of Paris with her aunt. And she finds out that a man living in the house has a lot of money he's hiding away from the tax office. The two guys who are interested romantically, in more or less, with Odile are Franz, played by Sammy Frey, and Claude Brasseur's Artur, who is a little more rough around the edges than, Claude, than Franz is. He comes from a family of criminals, kind of likes scoring with the girls, he's a bit of a player, whereas Franz is more romantic, both of them are interested in Odile. Franz romantically, Claude more as a way of kind of keeping score and because he fancies her, he just decides to go with her. And so, while they're planning to rob this money from the house where Odile lives, they kind of wander through Paris. Odile, at first, is drawn to Artur because he's a bad boy, but as time goes on, Artur starts treating her badly, and so she gravitates more to France. France and Artur are friends. It makes a very complex kind of relationship there. But this movie is joyous fun. It's full on beautiful. It's about the exuberance of youth. There are two really classic cinema scenes in one movie, which is pretty good value. First off, there is the nine minute 43 second run through the Louvre, where Franz, Odile and Artur decide they're gonna go through all the exhibits in the Louvre and run past them all. And that's become a big thing too. There have been people since then who've attempted to do it. There was one done as an art piece in 2010 it's become an iconic piece of cinema history. The other one, of course, is the dance in the nightclub, which people call the Madison dance, but it isn't really a Madison. That's not a Madison because Madison's an American thing, but there's some great music behind this one with Michel Legrand. And the dance itself has become iconic. It's just smooth and stylish and beautiful. And again, like the rest of the film, it's about the exuberance of youth. It's about being young and running around a place and discovering the world. And the dance kind of nails that down really interestingly. The music, as I said, is from Michel Legrand, one of my all time favorite music composers. I've never heard a track of Michel Legrand that I didn't like. And in this one, he uses some music. There's even some music that he put into Umbrellas of Cherbourg, which is used in a little bit of the background of this one. The movie's charm relies mostly on the cast. Anna Karina in particular is luminous as Odile. She did a whole bunch of really good French New Wave movies, Viva Sa Vie, and a bunch of others. She's just the actress of the French New Wave in so many ways, along with people like Catherine Deneuve, Jean Moreau, and um, Anouk Amy. They're the kind of pantheon of females in French New Wave cinema. It does take you a little time to get your head around French New Wave cinema because it's very much different from the way American cinema at the time was. Even though the French New Wave was influenced by certain American movies, particularly some of the film noir, it still has a kind of grammar and a, a way of doing things that's all its own. Uh, it very rarely uses sets, it mostly does location shots. And there's something youthful and beautiful about the way the French do this that I really, really appreciate. As I said, it does take you a couple of movies to kind of get your head around it, but when you do, you're going to love it. Bond de Pas is a movie you should check out. If you're a Tarantino fan, you can check it out because he named his production company a Band Apart in homage to this movie. There are so many French New Wave movies I like. This is probably in the top five. And I'm not gonna go into the top five because in a minute it may change. It's kind of like any list you make about movies. Your movie list will change depending on your mood and just depending on which movies you think of at the time. So I'm not that big on movie lists for that reason, but nonetheless, Bond de Par is a movie you should check out. Anyway, thank you for watching. 
I will be back in two days with another movie review. If you like these ones, please consider subscribing and liking and commenting on whether you like this movie or you have other French New Wave movies you'd like to recommend. And of course, if you can support the channel via the Patreon page, that too would be appreciated. Watch some good movies in the meantime, watch some bad movies, watch some movies and use them to help you through these rough times. And I'll see you later. Bye.